like to take this opportunity welcome everybody back to the Independent Investor Channel. I want to bring to your attention a few highlights of what was released this week uh, via information through social media. My favorite company out there, it's one that I've been bullish on for the last couple of years. Uh, it's one that has been basing over the last few months here with its current stock price. Uh, the important thing for investors to understand is the progress that's being made toward an inevitable, interesting 2023. And I've considered this to be a bridging opportunity for the company to continue on their path to and finalize their validation stages through both winter validation and fleet trials. We're entering into an exciting week here where the company is going to be continuing on with their extremely successful campaign, their ride and drive. Uh, where patrons can come down and actually experience their flagship products firsthand, and they've been well received. And the idea here is uh, transparency through uh, uh, information and education. These folks need to just get the word out, and they need to uh, get the word out in such a way to allow industry to understand that they are a true player in this space. Now, the information that was released this week was exciting. And I want you to take it two-tier because Hylion is a two-tier company. They have two flagship products out. One is available right now on the marketplace. It is the Hybrid EX product. That product is aimed for those applications for the large Class 8 space that currently run uh, CNG applications as well as diesel applications. And put in short, the Hybrid EX product provides a horsepower supplement on the CNG side of the house as well as what was declared this week by a test trial that was run uh, and Hylion has declared a robust 7% savings on the diesel side uh, in their diesel hybrid application. This is exciting stuff, guys. And when we cross compare to the bottom line and what this could mean, uh, initi initiating a move away from and at least our consumption rate on the diesel side of the house, it's very exciting to understand what Hylion is doing here. When I suggest looking at Hylion from a two-tier approach, I need you guys to understand that where those routes call for a hilly application, one that requires along its route to go up and down and traverse hilly terrain, we have them all over this country, especially here in the U.S. We can look at those routes that run across the Blue Ridge, the Appalachian Range, the Rocky Range, and as well as the Pacific Coast Range, uh, on those applications that require the predominant uh, routes to be run over hilly terrain. Hylion knows this. And the perfect segue into a better opportunity to introduce hybrid into those applications uh, has never been so apparent. And this is just a small piece of uh, actual verification that's been released this week. It's exciting news. Uh, over the years and total cost of ownership over owning either a diesel or a CNG application, the cost savings cannot be denied. And that's just with r running one unit. Um, so these companies are looking hard at their routes and they are looking at what solutions out there can actually provide uh, some level of reprieve against historically high diesel prices, uh, as well as the opportunity to move away from diesel uh, and go with uh, more of an alternative or agnostic fuel solution, whether it be through renewable natural gas, continuing to run their compressed natural gas uh, applications, uh, as well as the prospects of hydrogen fuel cell down the line and many others. There's a transformation going on right now in the EV space that is worth acknowledging, and Hylion is worth looking at uh, with its uh, unique approach to solving the pain points that exist right now in the class eight space. Now the other tier to the tier two uh, aspect that I want you guys to think about is in long haul applications. Without meeting a beat, Hylion has released a test run that they've made and was successfully able, successfully able to negotiate along a more of a flat type of terrain um, which is the majority of the routes that are run here in this country, whether it be cross-country, east to west, uh, or our north-south uh, type of routes that we have here. And they were able to boast 780 miles of range run in a single application. 
Uh, what this is exciting, <laughs> this is exciting, guys, because when you look at the expected routes that a truck driver is going to be expected to run from day to day, this would suggest that Hylion on one refuel can actually run a majority of the routes right now with a 780 mile range expected. Now there was no color added with the release this week on whether or not they could have gotten more out of that or whether or not they could have pressed the route higher to end up at another fueling station. They had to sh cut the route short because of fuel availability beyond the uh, marked end of the route. But this is exciting where we can understand that the Hypertruck ERX, which is the other flagship product that they have right now entering into this winter validation and fleet trials, we can expect much more color to come from a multitude of different applications being run on more of our flat terrain, which is tailor-made for the Hypertruck ERX, where we need to chew up miles and we need to chew up road. The Hypertruck ERX is a perfect fit, and it is a far cry from many of the uh, BEV applications and full uh, electric, uh, as well as the battery weight that is being uh, incurred right now by some of the BEV applications, which are being estimated to get uh, about 200 miles of range. So the Hypertruck ERX blows those applications out of the water and are expected to actually garner more in range. Uh, as we continue along this uh, further validation of the Hypertruck ERX and stepping toward this eventual mass scale up and availability to our fleets out there that can actually purchase the product. Right now, Hylian is accepting orders backed by deposit as appropriate to secure build slots into the future. All companies right now with the labor shortages and the supply chain issues are going through a rough time. And the stock market volatility speaks to that. But we will emerge from this, as we always do. And companies like Hylion, where it is running into some extreme headwind, are going to shift incrementally into a direction that is going to define the potential of this company, being able to offer solutions to both our hilly terrain uh, routes in the Class A space, as well as those uh, long-haul uh, transportation trucks that are traversing this country day in and day out. Never been a better time here as this stock has been long forgotten, basing for many, many months here at the $3.20 range. It's never been a better time to look at this company and look into the prospects of what this company brings to bear. I would invite you to Hylion.com uh, as well as to search out the Discord group, which is the single best Drop point for information, bar none, anywhere in the world on this company. You can find much discussion on the company as well as what the company has released through the website, as well as day-to-day -day discussions 24 hours a day, seven days a week on this company. Why? Because it is worth discussing because it is that exciting. Guys, I appreciate you tuning in to this video. I'd invite you to subscribe to the channel, leave your comments at the bottom of the video, and share the message with anybody out there that you know is interested in the EV space. Bring them onto the channel. We talk Hylion.com. We talk Hylion. We talk about the opportunity that exists through their product offering on the channel. And we do it with some frequency because the opportunity has never been so real and has never been so blatantly right in front of your face to be discussed and enjoyed going forward as Hylion realizes their vision for an electrified future in the Class 8 space. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into the video, and good luck in your investment future.